I think of my holograms as sculptures of light. These are made up of tiny photons that actually do occupy a volume in space. So when I put other objects behind the hologram, as I've done in these little boxes, these elements appear to occupy the same space as the holographic image. I think it's quite magical. And when the object behind is transparent, such as a glass cup or jar, the holographic figure actually floats inside of it. This is not an illusion. The artist René Magritte is one of the masters of the painted illusion. He pointed out for his viewers the difference between an object, its image, and the word that names it. In this installation of mine called Homage to Magritte, I made a holographic bowler hat and continued his play with language and symbol with what is real and what is not. All of the works in this exhibition deal with reality and illusion. And by that I mean reality in a philosophical sense as well as a perceptual one. Some of my artworks involve personal fictions, others hint at the political. Perhaps the overall message is simply that we need to slow down the pace at which we move through the world in order to think more critically about what we see and what we hear. In this painting called Alchemy, the plumb line begins in one panel and ends in the second, passing from one frame of reference to another. The phrase leap of faith comes to my mind. Perhaps that's the essence of creativity, the ability to transcend the box that confines us. The alchemist changes base metals into gold and turns the ordinary into the sublime. I guess that's my definition of what art does. There's another aspect of the hologram that intrigues me, that it seems to embody both the physical reality of an object as well as something I can only call its transcendent state. The word icon is often used to describe this. I like to think of it as being simultaneously the real and the abstract, or if I could use another metaphor, both the body and the soul. I think of it as a meditative state, somehow suspended between two planes of existence, 